Hello everyone, welcome to my very first video on this channel and today we are going to be going through a book haul. So as a disclaimer, I usually buy books at the very top of the month. Um, this is a way for me to control my spending and also select three or four books that I'm really excited to read throughout the month. It's when I inevitably run out of books to read, I will go onto my library and rent books through the Kindle. But Today I was feeling a little bit off and I really wanted to go to the bookstore and just kind of get some books and have some extra serotonin and that's exactly what I did this morning. Um, let's go through some of the books that I bought today. So the very first book that I bought is Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. The cover looks like this. I've read books by Kristen Hanna before and I loved it. Specifically I read The Great Alone. And that was 500 pages and I read it in a single day. I loved her writing style. I loved the characters that she built. I loved the emotions that she was able to evoke through her writing. And so I was really excited to pick up another book by her. Um, this one is set both against World War II Leningrad and kind of a survival coming of age story juxtaposed against this woman at the end of her life trying to reconnect with her daughters and tell her story. It sounds really interesting. Russian history is something that has always intrigued me. Um, so I'm really excited to read a book by an author that I've liked before and see what happens. Next, we have a book that booktube made me buy. Um, I don't really know if I'm excited to read this one. It seems a little counterintuitive to say that I'm excited to read A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, but here we are. Um, from everything that I've heard, this book will destroy you, rip your heart out, make you cry, make you just fall into a reading slump. The amount of pain and devastation that people have talked about through reading this book, um, I, I couldn't not get it, right? It seems like a book that's so hyped up that I just want to check it out for myself. So maybe I'll do a reading vlog because that'll be fun. Just me reading and crying into the camera, I'm sure. And I'm not the first person to talk about this book. I'm not going to be the last person to talk about this book. Apparently it's about four college classmates broke adrift and buoyed only by their friendship and ambition. Um, friendship, trauma, triggering content, stuff that will make you cry. We love to see it. So I can't wait to hate myself and this book and, you know, see if all the hype is really worth it, you know? So a little life. Next, I'm really stepping on my comfort zone here, aren't I? Because I just said I don't like buying books in the middle of a month. And I also traditionally don't like buying hardcover books, mostly because of the cost. But also when I have so many paperback books, hardcover books tend to look a little bit off on my shelves. Nevertheless, I decided to get a hardcover history book. This is The Borgias by Paul Strathern. I love history. I love Renaissance history. I love medieval history. And reading about the Borgias is something that I haven't really done a lot of in the past. I mean, I've watched the TV show and, you know, you know a lot about the scandal and the drama of Renaissance Italy. But I kind of want to read about the family that made it all happen. Um, I typically try to read a couple history books a month because it's something that I'm interested in. But usually these books lately have been geared towards race and race relations in the United States just to kind of increase my knowledge and education as a white woman. And while I do have several books on the back burner that I will be reading throughout the month to that effect, I wanted to kind of switch gears a little bit and go back to my roots and read some really drama-filled and scandalous Italian history. So, the Borgias. I don't know much about this book. I feel like I might have heard good things about it, but I don't really know for sure. This is Every Bone a Prayer by Ashley Blooms. And this book is apparently set in Appalachia. It has themes and tones that are Southern Gothic, and I'm a sucker 
for the Southern Gothic genre. It also has elements of a family drama to it um, and also some magical realism, question mark. Um, you know, strange objects that start appearing outside the trailer. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't really know a lot about this book. I think it'll be interesting. It sounds kind of similar to Where the Crawdads Sing. Um, I mean, on the back of the novel, it even says even the crawdads in the creek have something to say if you listen. So I don't want to make comparisons between the two novels, but it seems worth questioning, maybe. Um, but yeah, you know, Every Bone of Prayer, I think this one will be a really fast read. Honestly, it sounds like something that I would breeze through in a day. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. Next book is another book that I've had on my list for about a month now because book two also made me put it on my list. This is Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. And I know a lot of people have talked about this. It's been one of the books of the summer, but I'm excited to read it. I haven't been able to get it up until this point. And it seems to be another family drama. Shocking. I think I have a type. So I believe it's a commentary on race. I think it's commentary on class and you know I don't really know much about it going into it except I know that the writing is apparently amazing um, the prose looks really interesting just the formatting of the book and again this will be something that I'll breeze through in like a day if I really set my mind to it the last book that I bought today is admittedly a very selfish buy I decided to get the Folger copy of Macbeth now, a little backstory here is that Macbeth is my favorite Shakespeare novel of all time. I fell in love with it the minute that we read it in sophomore year English. As I was moving into a new apartment and looking at all of my books, I realized that I did not have a copy of Macbeth. I got the copy that we read in my English class just because it's very nostalgic for me. It's the copy I first read. Um, it's the edition that I first read. And so it seemed right for me to have this specific edition. However, I do plan on getting beautiful copies with different covers, maybe an illustrated version. I'm sure that exists out there. Um, just because it's my favorite Shakespeare novel, but I felt like in order to move on to the pretty editions, I had to get the basic. And, you know, here it is. I don't know if I'll read it through again and annotate it, or if I just simply want to have it on my shelf to come, you know, add to my collection. But it was on my list. I had to get it. So that kind of wraps up all of the books that I got today. Um, a short, sweet, to the point video, nothing too fancy. I know I love to watch book hauls. I love to watch people talk about the books that they picked up and that they're planning on reading. I hope that through my channel, I can add a little bit more diversity to the booktube community, just in terms of content, in terms of books that I like to read. I always love finding booktubers and I love watching hauls and love watching videos of people talk about books, but I don't like young adult fiction. I don't really like fantasy. I much prefer adult contemporary fiction. I love history books. I love classics. And so I want to add a little bit to the conversation that we're having on YouTube, especially for people like me that don't like YA also just love talking about books. I love it. I love reading books. I love talking about books. That's one thing that quarantine has really taught me is how much I miss reading. And so I really hope to kind of add to the conversation that we're having on YouTube about, you know, different genres and different types of books that are out there to read. So really excited to be here. I know it's kind of a short, sweet video. Not that many books, I don't have 80 books to unpack and haul, but you know, I'm, I'm excited to just kind of be here. We'll see, we'll see where this goes. Hopefully I can keep on putting out videos, hopefully somebody likes them, and just do what I love, talk to the void about books and 
reading and making reading vlogs because why not? 2020 isn't real and I can do whatever I want. So yeah, hey, have a good one. And I'll, I don't know why I did this. Have a good one and I will talk to you all soon. Probably end of the month wrap up or reading vlog or something like that. So thank you. Great. I don't know how to sign off. Bye.